Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change your computer sleep after time on Windows 10. So after a certain period of inactivity, if you want your computer to automatically go into sleep mode, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And there are a few different ways how to do this, but I'm going to show you guys what I believe to be the quickest way. And that will be to open up the star menu. Just go and left click on the star button one time. Select the gear icon on the left side, where if you hover over it, it should say settings. So go ahead and select that. Alternatively, you could search the star menu as well for settings, whichever way you prefer to access it. And now you want to select the system tile. So again, it should say system. Go ahead and left click on that. Select power and sleep on the left side. Go ahead and left click on that. And now underneath sleep, when plugged in, PC goes to sleep after. Now, if you are on a laptop or a tablet device, there might be an additional option for on battery power. So you would just set both of them again depending on what you'd want to set them as. So maybe on battery power you want to set it to occur more in a shorter time duration than when it was plugged in because it has a consistent AC power supply. But you know to each their own. Most people probably just want to set them both to the same. But in my case I only have one option since I'm on a desktop device here. So it says when plugged in PC goes to sleep after and right now it's set to never, meaning it will not go into sleep mode unless you set it into sleep mode. So in order to change that, you just would select the drop down arrow. And then you can set any time interval from 1 minute to 10 and then progressively goes up to 5 hours or never, like I said. So just set whatever one you're most comfortable with or whatever one you prefer, I should say. And then once you're done with that, you don't actually have to click on save or anything. You can just close it here. I actually don't believe you need to restart your computer for it to take effect, but it probably would not hurt just to do that just one time. And that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.